Large, colorful, colorful murals certainly aren't uncommon in Austin, but two of them stand out at 23rd and Guadalupe along the UT drag. They've also become a target for graffiti taggers, and now the original artists are bringing them back to their former glory. KXAN's Natalie Stoll caught up with the restoration. This thing doesn't want to drive straight. This is like a workout, man. It's better than going to the gym. Tommy B. and Carry On are artists. They painted the ostentatious and Tejas murals on the walls of the university co-op years ago. We walked into the uh, into a co-op board meeting and said, we're here to paint your wall 40 years ago. And Caught him a little bit by surprise. For years, graffiti taggers left these murals of Austin and Texas icons alone. The Alamo is one of the hardest buildings I've ever painted, to tell you the truth. But this year, taggers defaced nearly a fourth of this one. It hurts when some, something happens to something that you've done. They were able to clean a lot off, so we were able to actually, you can see through what it actually is, although it's very dirty, it's very gray here, but we want to bring this back to its original brilliance. With a few updates, if time and funds allow. Look at this. It's a big canvas. Every time we do this, we have to add more buildings, as everybody uh, as everybody knows. I mean, the last time we did it was 2002, and just that's 12 years ago. Just think how much has happened in 12 years in Austin. A fresh new reflection of the city these artists love. In Central Austin, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News. It's really an icon down there. Carrie and Tommy plan to spend five weeks on each mural. There's a crowdsourcing campaign to raise money for the project. We've linked to it on our website, kxan.com. If you spot graffiti, you can call 311 to get a city crew out to clean it all up. Removing graffiti costs the city a half million dollars each year. Between October 2011 and September of 2012, the fiscal year, city crews cleaned up more than 14,000 sites, covering a total of 1.3 million square feet of graffiti. They actually cleaned up fewer sites in the last fiscal year, but the graffiti covered more space. Those cleanups covered 1.4 million square feet.